Hey guys. Hi, welcome to the channel. Jordan, why don't you tell us today what we're looking at? Diamond Select Batman. Diamond Select Batman, yep. Uh, like always, we take the statue out. We show you yeah. guys the box first, which this one's a very plain box. Nothing really uh, special here. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. So, pretty plain, basic pretty bo plain. box, yeah. you know. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to the statue. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't have that much weight there to it, is. right? Uh, it's got a little bit of weight. I'm going to adjust the camera real quick. So we can get a better look. There we go. Okay, so first, let's start with the base. Yep. So What's that? Right here, this is a gargoyle. Oh. So, pretty cool, right? It's got a and big smile on him, you know, big nose. You know, it's really cool detail on that and, gargoyle. And these. Yeah, it's got the gate behind it, which actually is really cool. Actually, looks real. Actually, looks like it's a real gate and gargoyle. Yep. Uh, you know, very nice detail on the on the bricks here. Yeah. You can tell he's jumping off of some kind of roof or something. The base is very light. You can hear that's like a plastic, very very light. Okay. The weight is all in the statue himself, which we're gonna get yeah. to in a minute. But uh, yeah, so the detail on the on the on the uh, the gargoyle in the in the base really nice. This yep. is just like a little plastic. You can see how easy that bends. So, and I don't see any plastic. smudges. It's got some like rust marks on it, which is a really nice touch. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's a nice little touch to uh, to mm -hmm. show that the, you know it's on top of a roof that's been beaten by weather. Let's turn it around so we can see the other oh, side. Oh yeah, like thunder or something. Like rain and snow. So there's Batman's boot, right? Yeah. And, and there's, there's, the, there's the other boot the stepping boot. On, on top of the head, so you can see he's getting ready to jump off, which is really really cool. And then he can glide with his cape. Yeah, and he's getting the cape ready. Yeah. As you can see right here, he's got the cape in his fist. Let me bring that a little closer for you guys. Like he's holding so, it freaking Yeah, glass. so he's grabbing onto the cape. And, you it, you know, really nice different color. You can see that the cape is like a darker blue as compared to the glove. So that's kind of nice. You know, they got nice muscle tone there. You can see even some, like, cuts and stuff. Or, like, some marks on the... Cl on the um, clothes. On, yeah, on the clothes. There's the Batman symbol right there. And I don't see any smudges. Like, yep. do you see that? The you know, smudges. of course, Batman's jacked. Yep. There's his belt with like the the uh you know there's the belt buckle the little pouches. Yeah, but they look old. Yeah, no, it's 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 cool though. It's very very cool. You can see like his he's been through battle. Like, he's got like some cuts and stuff on there. But oh, it's yeah. just like a little bit on like the the armor part. Like not really. Wait, like, like it doesn't show his skin underneath. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and then the other fist also like really nice. How you can actually see like the knuckles going through the cape, and the cape's being pulled back. So really really yeah, cool. Yeah, like like. Uh, like, I know he, he can glide, but it looks like he, he could actually fly with it. Like, how he's actually, like, eek, eek, holding, holding it and stuff. Yeah, well, well I'm yes, guessing, like, you know, he's jumping off the roof. He's probably going to open up the cape after and use it to glide. My and then there's Batman's face. You I can, thought that he ran, then stepped here, stepped there, and then glided. Yeah, that's pretty much what he's something. doing. You can see his teeth. He's bearing some teeth there, which is nice, you know. You see that redness, right? Yeah, well, the red is the gums and the tongue and stuff. Then he's got, he's got the like white eyes. The com Oop, I'm sorry, guys. He's got the comic book white eyes. He looks like he's mad. Yeah, well, he does look pretty mad. Maybe he can see, like, Joker or something. Yeah, he's probably maybe. gliding down to, to uh, get into battle, get into a fight. Let's adjust the camera a little bit for you guys. But he already has see enough the top of, the head. of scratches. There's the cowl. There's the cowl. Stuff. Batman's always fighting. So there's the cow. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much. Oh, and underneath is just empty, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Now, um, uh, here's the thing. Like I said, the weight is all right here on, on the center part of the figure, right here. This is yeah. just like a plastic. This retails for about forty-five, fifty dollars around. And um, I can see like cracks. Yeah, on the stuff. on the roof. Yep, they did yeah. a good job with the details. Now here's the thing. I love this pose. When I saw that this was coming out, I knew I had to get it. I thought it was really cool. He's holding the cape. He's running. He's jumping off of the, the roof. They've got the gargoyle there. Really awesome. And how he's posing. Yeah. Really so now, nice. those are all the good things. And that we, we, detail, no smudges. Yep. Oh, did you even notice that? He has like a little like yeah, well, print. But, yeah, he's got a footprint right there. So that's what we're going to get into. So that we already said all the good things about the statue. Love the pose. Love the... the uh, the little details that they put into this very good. Now, once again, when you when you get into this type of price range, you're you're gonna have some negatives. Now, with this one, uh, like he was talk, like Jordan was talking about, on the foot there, you, can, you can see, like a 
purpose like like a circle there where you yeah. insert the foot kind of thing. And you, you can tell spikes. it's not part of the gargoyle type Wait. of thing. Well, the spikes right there. So that's one thing right there. Uh, another thing, I don't know if you guys can see that, but in the back on the cape, two uh, marks right there that do not come off. I already tried. They don't. So that's like plastic that probably didn't um, they didn't cover with paint or whatever. I'm not fully sure. So that's kind of a you know a bummer. But, but it's it's at the bottom. It's in the back. It's not a big deal. And it's a tiny bit. Yeah. Uh, another thing, you got some white poking through, blemishing through on there, uh, which which is unfortunate. No, no, the scratches are on purpose. And it's like some spikes were cool. It's another misfortune right there. You guys see uh, yeah. that like little, you know, that stuck on there. You know, probably dried incorrectly or whatever. Um, you know, right here too. That's another one that's like a like a white and almost didn't fully dry. I mean, uh, they didn't put enough paint or what on there. So, I mean, th that's the kind of... Yeah, see, he has another one right here. So, there are things, you know, like like I said, with Diamond Select, they, they do a good job for the price point that they have. Um, they're definitely, you know, definitely really good and great, like I said, great pose, really nice detail and stuff. But, like I said, you're going to have to be willing to overlook some of those type of... Yeah. Um, imperfections now me personally I am I'm, I'm okay with that you know it, it, it is a bummer but I mean I'm gonna put them on the shelf just like this so the ones in the back I'm not gonna really see anyway and then the one underneath the cape I mean you have to kind of really look for it so all in all I, I'm still pretty happy with this piece I think it's really nice yeah and I, and, and it's really cool how he has like the spikes. The spikes from his from his glove. Yeah, that is yeah, cool. Yeah, it's know if under can see his that, cape. Well, yeah, because that's where he. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see with our lighting, but it's uh, it's it's the uh, the spikes on the back of Batman's gloves. Yeah. And um, yeah, they, they, you know they show that. Like I said, really nice, nicely detailed, uh, great pose. I like the the base, but like I said, you're gonna get those imperfections where you're gonna get like stuff like that coming out. So I mean, it's like you know. Like, they kind of pump them out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but all, all in all, I like it. I'm very happy to add this to my collection. And he has, like, those where, it, where it's... That's a six-pack. Batman's... Six pack? Yeah, Batman's got muscles. Oh, I didn't know he had that many muscles. Yeah. Or, I mean, sometimes in the movies, too, it's like, uh... It's like, uh, what is it? Like a bulletproof vest, too. So, I mean, there's that, too. Uh, it could be, like, a bulletproof vest underneath there. Because, I mean, it all depends. In the movies, he usually has some kind of armor here. But in the comics, it seems like it's just, he's that jacked. I don't know. But uh, but either way, awesome piece. I'm happy with it. I like it. I think yeah. Diamond Selects did a really good job with this. Um, I said I just wish some of those imperfections weren't there. But, I mean, it is what it is, guys. You know, yeah. that, that's that's what separates Diamond Select from a company like Cota Bakia, Is Not only is it half the price, but you're going to get those blemishes and those problems where, you know, a company like Cota Bakia usually you don't see those.